Good day everyone. This is Aldrich Horulan Licaros. Welcome to my channel, the research web, research made easy, just connect with me. So that you'll be updated in our videos, lessons, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button and or press thumbs up. Or if you have comments, questions, queries, don't forget to drop your comment in our comment box below. And we are going to revisit the crucial parts in conceptualizing a quantitative data. The objective of this uh, topic is all about explains and illustrates the conceptual framework using IPO or input process output model. This time, uh, we need to revisit the correct definition of conceptual framework in any research study. Ayon sa ating napag-usapan last uh, discussion in my previous video, a conceptual framework has played an important role in a research paper in the reason that it is a written or visual representation of the relationship between variables. Now, talking about relationships between variables, we need to consider simple or complex connection between variables of our research study. Now, variables are simply the characteristics or properties that you want to study. Determining the exact model is very important, very vital. Why? Because it serves as a guide and a follow-up follow explanation of what is stated in our SOP or what you call statement of a problem in which it contains our research questions. And it also serves as our direction towards the expected end or towards our research prediction as stated in our null hypothesis. Okay? Thinking about conceptual framework, there are three conceptual models. And these three conceptual models are IBDV or independent of variable and dependent variable. And we have also conceptual or concept map. And we have the IPO or input process output. But the problem is what, when, and how to choose correct conceptual model that is fitted to a certain study. Now, we had already discussed about the IBDV or the independent variable and dependent variable. At this time, we'll be discussing about IPO or the input process output. Oh. Nalilito ka na ba? What is an in IPO or input process output model of a research paradigm? Okay. Now, the input process output model is a functional representation of graph that identifies the inputs and the processing tasks to be done to transform inputs into an outputs. Now, we have the box for input and uh, the box for process that is a place in between the input and output boxes. Now, as you have noticed, uh, in our input box, it contains raw data that need to be manipulated through the chronological procedures which are written in the process box just to affect the variables in the output. Now, the IPO model has a causal structure in which the output is to be influenced by numerous input variables. Now, as you have noticed, in our input variables we have, or input box, we have different variables that are to be or to affect our output box or output in terms of our different procedures in our process box. Uh, sometimes, ito yung problema ng isang researcher. When to apply or to utilize IBDV. And kailan tayo mag utilize ng concept map as well as the IPO or the input process output model. Now, I'll be giving to you when do we need to utilize an IPO as research models or model. Number one, when the researcher is looking into a case of a certain event or phenomenon like learning modalities, political issues, conflict, uh, teenage pregnancy, and the like. Number two, when the occurrence of an event is already finished and action is already done or already conducted. 
Number three, when there is no intervention to affect a certain variable. And number four, when the researcher is looking for a problem leading to an intervention program or intervention program uh, formulation or policy implementation. Now, at this point of time, ay bibigyan ko po kayo ng halimbawa ng isang topic or title na gagamitin natin si Input Process Output or the IPO model. For example, this is our title, Level of Political Awareness of Voters in Political Choices During Election. Uh, take note or bear in mind that we have three boxes that we need to consider, the Input Process Output. Now, at this time, talking about Political awareness will be considering variables like sex, age, marital status, economic status, educational attainment, and political issues. Now, how do we conduct or what are now the procedures to be considered in taking care or doing this uh, political awareness in terms of the variables that are stated in our input box, uh, we have profiling. No, siyempre, kukunin natin yung profile of the respondents in terms of sex, age, marital status, economic status, educational attainment. Then, we have the political issues. Okay, so we have now the survey questionnaire. And of course, we have the data analysis. Now, what is the variable to be affected is found in the output uh, output box, which is level of political awareness. O, yun po yun kung paano natin gagamitin itong tinatawag na IPO, IPO model in our research slow. Thank you so much and God bless us all. That's all for our topic this day. I hope you'll be gain, gaining something with our lesson. And next time, we'll be talking about conceptual framework using IPO or the input process output. To be updated always, don't forget to subscribe and hit bell button in your screen or just press thumbs up. Or if you have queries, questions, or clarifications, don't forget to drop your comments or questions in our comment box